workout and took a shower and I'm in the middle of coloring my hair or putting like this gloss toner over it. It's a dark brown. I want to do like all the same color like dark brown and it's by this brand called DP Hue. It only lasts maybe like a couple weeks, three weeks, depending on how much you sweat and wash your hair, but I really, really like it. Not sponsored. You can see I've already used like almost half the bottle. I'm doing that and it takes about 20 minutes. And then Lewis just texted me right when I got done with this to ask if I wanted to go red snapper fishing. He was just out on a charter this morning. So he said, be ready in an hour. So that's what I'm gonna do today, I guess. You know, regular old day in the life of being in Venice. So that's the plan for today. Outfit of the day, this Salt Life performance shirt. Very nice and comfortable. It is thin, which is good for, you know, warm days, but for cooler weather, which is kind of like right now, I'm gonna add another layer. So I have my, just an old gill jacket. Love this thing. And then I'm wearing underneath, just in case. I don't know if it's gonna be more uh, warm enough for me to wear it, but I'm gonna see, we're gonna see. And of course the bikini, bikini bottoms, and then these Salt Life leggings, and then these Salt Life, Hands, I forgot what they're called, but that is outfit of the day. And of course, let's see, I have some pair of extra tough boots somewhere, not those. Okay, so I'm all ready. And I got all the rods in the truck. I got our grundins, because last time I went on the boat, it was freezing. I was soaking wet, didn't have any grundins. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't have any grundins or foul weather gear. I was absolutely miserable. So we're not doing that today. Now I'm gonna make a smoothie before I leave because I haven't eaten yet today. And I gotta take my vitamins too. Today is Wednesday. Got my piece of crap. Do you it? It gets the job done, I guess. It was 30 bucks at Walmart. I can't complain. Organic orange juice. And then we go in here, do a soup. Whoops, I'm trying to brush. Protein powder I like to kind of over scoop because a bunch of the smoothie gets stuck around the sides and also in the lid so I feel like I'm not getting my full scoop of protein unless I do like an over scoop. Atlantic Dulce, can you see that? It's uh, a type of seaweed. Some spirulina, a superfood greens powder, barley grass juice powder, okay? It has to be the juice powder, not the barley grass powder, okay? I'll do about like a spoonful or an estimated teaspoon of each. Again, and I do like a little bit of an over. We are doing so good on time. I'm probably just gonna be a little bit late. I'm gonna do some frozen wild blueberries, frozen banana, and some fresh cilantro, and that's going to conclude the smoothie for the day. How pretty that is. I love cilantro. I love it so much. It is like probably my favorite plant to eat besides spinach. Plug this in. eat this every day. I get out one of my reusable metal straws, throw it in there, and I'm ready to go. Mm. Oh my god, I'm supposed to be leaving right now. I have my sunglasses. I'm not gonna bring my sunscreen today. It's gonna be one last thing in this tiny little bag, but everything's in here. Got my hat. My key. Chilly right now. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh 
my god. Oh my gosh. This is a bigger one that we've caught all day. <laughs> One, four for me and four for Lewis. And we're gonna head home. Okay, we made it back. I just, I'm playing with my phone right now. So I'm about to back in the trailer for Lewis. Oh, I see him right now, I gotta go, I gotta go. I hate. My phone connects to Lewis's truck when... Oh, okay. Okay, so it, it's time for us to clean the red snapper. It's like 4.30 uh, the next day. We went fishing early this morning. It was super rough, no fish. We didn't have a very good time. It was raining, it was miserable. So we're back at home and we're gonna clean our red snapper from yesterday that you just saw me catch. And I just wanted to tell you like, the first thing that I do when we start to clean fish is I get all my bags ready for the vacuum sealer, okay? 10 by 13 inch, three milliliter vacuum seal bag from bagmasterfresh.com. I'll put the link in for the website in the description box below so you can shop vacuum sealer bags, vacuum sealers, sous vide machines, which I still need to show you all on my channel. This is about the average size we use. I got 10 of them out. I usually take about Take out however many I think we're gonna need, write what type of fish it is on there with a Sharpie and also the date so that we can put it in the freezer and then when we take it out, we'll know what day it was from and what type of fish it is. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll show you what we're, I'm gonna clean some snapper with Lewis and then I'll show you how I vacuum seal them. And then I wanna do a recipe for you but I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this video or not, but I'm just gonna get started on this and then I'll bring you outside to clean fish with me. Getting it and rolling around on it, so. In this, on this one? On that knife, yeah. Do you sharpen serrated knives? No. Well then how do you get them to be sharp? Wheel brush. You buy oh. you you buy a new one. That's how you get them sharp. Yeah, <laughs> but I just buy a new one. <laughs> just say it. <laughs> you can't run a little file on them a little bit. You get a small little file, but I've tried it before and I don't know too much. I ain't yeah, seen too much nah, luck on them. You know what I mean? Where's your bags? Oh, I forgot. You need the skin on these. Well, you can keep cleaning and get up on the bigger cooler if you want. Good can I spray this this way? Yeah. They are the most curious. Pick up Penny. Penny, come here. It's okay. It's okay. This is Penny. Oh, she don't. Oh, she don't want me. To, she don't want me to hold her right now. Side of the fish, like, you know, yeah, look, this side, see, this is the side I don't like when I got to start at the head, but I just put it next to the edge of the Yeah, table. that's the bad side. Yeah. Oh, bite me on the eyelid. It's really annoying to call. Dude, they are freaking bad. I know, dude. Oh. Thank you. 
Penny, Lewis found her at his uncle's house, and she is like the sweetest chicken we've ever had. Mm -hmm. I got her all kind of sticky with the fish, but look, I'm all trying to go to bed. That's the other new chicken. We don't have a name for her yet, but she's molting right now, so she looks really kind of funny. That's one of the newer ones too. Oh, look at Penny so hanging out with us. Hi. <laughs> okay, this is this is what Penny normally likes to do. She loves to get on your shoulder and like look. Oh, <laughs> she's so friendly and sweet. Oh my god, <laughs> tickles. Don't poke my eye. <laughs> oh, she kind of gave me a kiss. She had poop on her beak earlier. <laughs> We're guessing she's like two or three months old maybe because when we found her she still had her little chick voice like her little tweet tweet <laughs> she, she's gonna she's not gonna want me to leave and you want to sleep on my shoulder she's gonna want to sleep on my shoulder but all the other chickens like they hate us they don't want us to pet them or anything so that's why we like penny so much because she's actually like a friendly cuddly chicken which is like what you want when you get chickens you know like <laughs> She's like, what are you talking about? We're talking about you, Penny. She likes the camera. I'm trying to get her to poke my, my eye on video. <laughs> Don't peck my eye. Oh, she's trying to eat the mosquitoes on you. Oh, good. That's nice. Because the mosquitoes are bad right now. So yeah, they just came out. Oh, right. she just ate one. She ate one? Yeah. All right, Penny, you want to get up here? Oh, uh, no, no, stay. She's crying. Oh, she's like, don't leave me. <laughs> All the other chickens are mean to her. Oh, I hope she doesn't put, uh, pick her off. <gasps> no! Oh, oh. Look how mean they are. It's okay, Penny. That's kind of how chickens are, though. Chickens are not nice to each other. They're really actually kind of mean to each other. If you want to get chickens, I would get as many as you can at once. Like, don't say, oh, I'll get two now and then get two later. I would just get all of them at once because they grow up together and they become friends and they get really, like, clicky. <laughs> Not clucky, clicky. And they'll be mean to any new chickens, any young chickens. Sometimes it gets so bad that they'll beat another chicken to death. Like, chickens are that mean to each other which is why I put peepers on the other chickens, which I'll show you those when it's a little bit lighter out, maybe tomorrow. But you can mix new, new and old chickens. It just takes a while and you kind of have to keep an eye on them to make sure they're not, you know, really bullying each other to the point of, you know, actual get, actually getting hurt or dying. All right, so this is the part of the night where I started vacuum sealing the bags. Okay, I left them out just a little bit too long playing with the chickens, but it's okay. Here is my three mil, 13, 10 by 13 inch vacuum bag with a piece of red snapper in it. I kind of just like to wipe any like slimy fish scales or blood or stuff like that water from the area that I'm gonna be sealing right here. So I put it, I lay the top of the bag maybe an inch across. This is the part that seals it. Make sure it's flat, make sure there's no like water or juice or anything. <laughs> Close it, let it seal and suck and you'll feel it. And then let it go and then it vacuum seals by itself. And look at that. Perfectly sealed fish. And you can freeze that for a long time, let me tell you. I have all of this to vacuum seal right now. So I'm gonna get going on that. I'm gonna leave you all off with a discount code to shop VacMaster on the website. I'll pop that code right there. Plus it's in the description box below. Check it out. They make excellent, excellent, 
Christmas presents. So I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I'd love to have you here. Hit the like button. It really supports my channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.